Greetings, welcome back, Aya. Let's continue our journey for the next liberation right? Maybe this will be our last one as well. He awakened the news from the impact of some sort of massive object slamming into it mid-flight. False Nightwings. Alright, like, calls down to all of you from atop his wagon. Again, you seek to climb that crest mountain beneath us. Again, you seek to take my rightful place. I should send you crashing down to, to it, that you might fall, as I. He stares down at all of you. That I shall not. Rather, we shall meet upon the summit. Ere yeah, the last cycle of the rites is ended. Until then. These ocean shall gain favor from the sky, or city man shall gain favor. Let's. Give Sir Gilmar rightful favor. You make landing on the sacred Mount Alodiel after your encounter with Oralek. Oralek spoke the truth. He has a right to gain the summit. When the time comes, Celeste shall deem him worthy and shall let him pass. While he has transgressed against the right, he has also already been anointed and prevailed. Nothing is written in the book on this, and liberty ought already be his. At the time, it seems that he has not yet travelled to the summit. Perhaps he is still making preparation with his fellow exiles. When exactly Rorik intends to make good on his promise, he did not make clear. For now, we are to confront Parker and the dissidents upon the summit. But first, we may prepare. Later that afternoon, your company Sir Gilman through the sublime grandeur of Temple High Road to the monument of Luz Glorian. Oh, there is a complicated thing, Ross scribes. That much at least this knight has learned from you. This knight shall honor his commitment to the Nightwings above all. He slithers towards the culmination of the rise with eye wide open. He returned the wagon after he is finished paying his respects. The summit awaits, but first there is time to continue practicing your vocations. I should be interested to see which lessons you have taken from the book. You ask Wolfert to explain to you in his own words the histories of the eight scribes and speak to, to, to how their varied backgrounds form the basis not just for, of the right but of the commonwealth. Long did I bide my time in anticipation that one day the Nightwings would reform under our common cause to be a part of it myself. It it nourishes the spirit. I sometimes fear the spirit of the teaching, so the scribe is already long forgotten back where we come from. A messenger imp with news and rumors from the other side comes huddling toward your wagon, here in the friendly glory of Mount Alodio. 
You let it in and offer it some light refreshment, as rookie would have done. The aim's message turns out to be about him. You learn uh, Rookie's past transgressions have all been forgiven since he's returned to the Commonwealth. He was even offered a well-appointed home and place of business. It must have represented just a kind of lavish lifestyle that Rookie always claimed to have had for himself and his extended family. Eventually, and somewhat reluctantly, however, he refused the gifts. Instead, he tracked down Wolfert's agents and gave them ample information, thus emboldening their ranks. The last bit of the message sounds as though it was transcribed word for word from something Nikki said, and simply reads, The rest of you better go back here soon, or else... You thank the messenger imp for the report. Soon it has all your companions talking. I had every faith that our friend Ruki will stand tall and wise to the occasion. Tizo is happy to learn that Ruki joined the revolution in the Commonwealth. Ah, the noble Ruki! He sets a shiny ensemble onto us all! We understand this Ruki holds no small degree of influence, at least among his kind. News of Rookie's liberation fills the universe exiles with newfound resolve. The messenger imp accepts some scraps to eat from you and rushes off. The companions, companions gained hope. You are returned once more to Scribescape, where the gate guardian awaits under a dim sky. The Exiles of the Nightwings, and you, Tarek. This is to be one of our final meetings. Greetings, Celeste. The Nightwings are prepared, and afterwards I would have words with you in private, if you please. It seems to me rather late for words now, Tarek, but I shall hear them once your charges across the gate. Now, all of you, come forth. Please state your names and what it is that you seek whilst crossing Scribe's Gate. Once more, your companions cross the gate, one after another, and once more, you will follow, you follow them in turn. Celeste regards the, you all, then waves you through towards the summit. The eight scribes bid the Nightwings welcome, go forth for the glory. And Tarek? I, Celeste, you may rejoin the others in a while. For now, I would hear those words of yours. Certainly, Celeste. Everyone, I shall, see, I shall see you shortly. Okay, guys, it's got a real cold again up here. That is worth it. Let me tell you, got a lot of customers. It's stopping my. Okay, I may have been extra guilty, just a little since so I've been waiting here a little while. I guess, but are you not buying anything? Pleasure was all mine and that's you guys. The time has come again to deliver one of your fellow exiles to a homecoming in the Commonwealth. 
lest your adversaries, the dissidents, achieve the same instead. The lone minstrel has returned and approaches you as you wait the signal from the stars. There is something that I wish to ask of you, reader. Something which ordinarily would not be my place to discuss in any detail. You have observed the stars. If you would not mind my asking you in such a direct manner, how many liberation rites are you supposed to immediately remain? You tell him the only logical deduction which you have been able to make by based on all of your readings of the stars of light, that there shall be one final liberation night right after tonight. I concur with your evaluation, reader, madam. I wish to make certain that you are aware that you and the Nightwings may yet make the most of your remaining time together, thus. As to what shall happen once the final liberation rite is ended, we soon shall both find out. But for it seems that we are called upon once more, look forth. first looked upon the Book of Rights, think back upon the words that it revealed. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Would that the scribes were here among us still. I would not sing your praises to them, rest assured. I trust that you shall savor this occasion. You shan't have to oblige me for much longer. The pious burn and each of the triumvirates is present and prepared. I concur. The pious burn and each of the triumvirates is present and prepared. Then, anointed one of the dissidents, go forth now and declare yourself, and pay any respect you have unto your adversaries, the Nightwings. Barker bursts out from some hidden corner laughing as he pulls at his mask. Are you a pleasure to be here, mate, Troy? Baker Ashbos, Colin Baker. The right by the by. Here's a little piece of getting here, you know? Begging your pardon, Barker Ashbos? You trustly speak upon the summit of the sacred mountain? Oh my, so to be sorry to offend you there, Rassi. I forgot we got the stars above up there to make me watch the my language. Now let's get some more things straight, Rassi. I don't give a bother for your sacred mountain, so you take it and you shove it. Me and my back, we're here just for the house you get at. The other side ain't any better than this one. We ain't interested in freedom. But just the same, we're gonna get it. Take it from those little babes there, so antsy for it. You got your night wings? You better put up a good fight here, or I ain't gonna be happy, understand? Then he shows his mask back on. Right, come on, and let's hurry up and get this damn thing started. Night wings, your choice. In whose name shall you conduct this liberation right? I wish you the wisdom of the scribes in making your choice, reader. And I wish you to come prepare a song with me, Tarek. Whom shall you attempt to send home this time? Sir Gilman. Has this night at last regained his horror? Let us find out. Who shall be at his side? This was fired up to prevail in this liberation right for Sigilman's sake. Oh, 
Bertrude. We shall lend our support to that one then. Alright then, mates, no more waiting, no more holding back. Let's rip <laughs> and let's rip him to shreds. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Today, alright, need something going right funny with that orb, as I can tell. But I it up while we stink an eye. Indeed, something strange seems to have happened to the celestial orb. It shudders now as though possessed some of the same creative power as your adversaries. They defeated utterly. Thus ends the liberation rite. And thus, the scribes have chosen the exile appointed by the Nightwings shall be free. Absolved of all misdeeds, return to glory in the Commonwealth. His adversary and all others shall remain to carry out their rightful sentences. What a joke. Here I was thinking you were gonna make him cry after this. Come on, mates. I've right had it with this stuck up place. Let's get out of here already, eh? Sir Gilman stares at nothing in particular. You sense he is still taking in what has transpired and what it means for him. So then, this night, he is to be forgiven? For free? He is to be free? Eh, what that would mean? That would mean... Why? That would mean his honor is restored. One cannot go back onto our common world by any other means. This night's exile was so filled with disgrace profound that he has been atoned under the eye of the Under King and those of all his noble comrades. He begins to grow very emotional and then... This knight loves you all! He loves you all that you would strive for him and let him join your noble quest. This knight does not feel as though he is deserving of this outcome yet. The result appears inarguable. Even now, this knight is drawn into the shimmer pool. Our time grows great. Therefore, know this beloved friends. This knight shall ever strive on your behalf. There in this common, there in the commonwealth, 
Though his honor may have been restored, his true journey only now begins. And so, good friends of the Nightwing, this night must now bid you farewell. However, the bonds we form together shan't be broken by mere distance and nay. Strive on, good friends, strive on! We can still hear a Sir Gilman as he vanishes into the shimmer pool. If this lowly knight could have achieved such glory, surely can you! For now, farewell! Farewell! Sir Gilman and back his freedom. Godspeed, Sir Gilman. The cycle of the rites is nearly at an end. Long have we sought to fathom all the darkest secrets hidden by the light of the stars. Now, at last, the stars themselves revoke the station in the night, and we have finally achieved the inkling of this. You return to the wagon after having prevailed against the, the dissidents in the liberation right. This wishes Sir Gilman a safe journey home. Wouldn't that make good of all such incidents? We succeeded in liberating Sir Gilman who returned to the Commonwealth in glory. The last light of the stars still shines for us above at this point. What is to become of our plan needn't be the subject of our speculation. I trust that we will learn the outcome soon enough. Our actions to this point shall pave the way, perhaps our faith as well. So let's for now focus on this. We stand upon the brink of the last turn of the cycle of the rites. Soon we'll have the fi a final chance to get one of you home. Now we there. Up for a little stargazing? Let's see where in the downside we shall be returning before this final rites. You turn back toward the darkness to look upon the last few stars too stubborn to relinquish their light. The scribes star yet a bone for you atop the sacred mountain. Once more, you are to face the withdrawn, then although I wonder. He hesitates before saying anything further, you cannot sense his thoughts. I apologize, I was lost in thought there for a moment. It does make way for the cairn of hope, where I, when everyone is feeling more refreshed, as much as possible. On Legacy Reader, though you shall always bear, bear a burden, it is much lighter than the burden of a lonesome exile. Go forth and become free, then join with others such as you and lead, with mercy continuing to demonstrate your worth, and knowing that the Empire's fall form the foundation of our commonwealth. You shall cease to be a reader and become a voice, a voice both to the free and to your successors here who shall take up this book when you no longer need it. The cycle of the rites shall say to that you and others like you shall be liberated, 
ere the coming of another age. May the stars shine ever brightly on us all. Following the successful outcome of the liberation ride, you find Bertrude muttering something to herself. You hear some of the words as you approach. Shouts thou seekest darkness, the midnight fall come to thee in time. Shouts thou seekest courage, and may braveries and bloom within thy heart. Shouts thou seekest water, then may the oceans open wide for thee. Should thou seek his fortune, then? You recognize it as the book benediction, though you have never heard it said aloud. Then Bertrand sees you there, and cuts short the jump. Here, did you explain the present reading one? We were amidst our, an invocation, which must now begin the meal. This for the weird name, if you don't need it, no. To speed him on his homeward journey. The weird maid are the distant kin, unlike their ilk, as have but passing interest in the sea. There, within the depths, we have long seen that which is to be seen. Nevertheless, the distant kin is kin. That foolish weird knight, surely he could never have survived his years if not for divine aid. Thus, we provide him more. Then, perhaps, the weird knight, is he underestimated as he is? Perhaps he shall turn out to be of some small benefit, as part of Sandalwood's design. She glares at you intently for a moment. Mistake thee not this action for affection, nor for a longing for the loudness of this place to escalate ever again to volume such as only his incessant shouting could achieve. Now leave us reading on. The invocation must be finished here. The weird knight finally arrives upon the shores beyond the slime before his homecoming. She turns away from you and then begins her chant again. Should thou seek his shelter, then may the elements be merciful to thee. Should thou seek his kinship, then may thy kin hold memory of thee. Should thou seek his darkness, to leave her to the benediction. The weird knight's absence is already felt. We you know, however, that he will strive with all his might on your behalf there on the other side. And that's it for today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.